Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Naomi and today I have a really sweet yoga practice for you. So this is a mellow morning yoga practice. So it's perfect for those days where you do want to get up and get out of your bed and do yoga first thing, but it doesn't need to be something that like supercharges you, you know, or completely energizes you. It just needs to wake your body up in a gentler and uh, maybe sweeter way. So with that in mind, all you need is a blanket for a little bit more comfort for your knees, but uh, take a comfortable seat right where you are. Just rest your hands on your thighs or in your lap and close your eyes for just a moment. Take a few full breaths in and out. And just give yourself a moment to center here, to settle in. And then go ahead and open your eyes, walk your right hand to the right, stretch your left arm alongside your ear. And you can push into your right hand as you lengthen out through your left arm. And take a full breath in and then lower your left hand to your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Take a little bit of a twist. And then come on back through center, left hand to the ground, right arm alongside your ear and stretch out. And lower your right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you, and take a little bit of a twist. Come on back through center, come on to your hands and knees. So if you need something a little bit more supportive underneath your knees, this would be the time to grab it. And then just roll your hips in circles. So make big circles with your hips, or small circles if you prefer. So you can keep it a little bit tighter. You can reach your hips all the way back towards your heels. You can even come forward, like into a little cobra or up dog. But reverse your circles too. Maybe just go from side to side. But use this as an opportunity just to warm up your hips a little bit. In a little bit more of a gentle way. And then come on into table pose. Okay, lift your left knee up and roll some circles with your left leg. So your circles again can be big or small. Try to feel every part of that circle. And go in both directions. Keep the right side of your body really steady and strong. And extend your left leg straight back behind you. Put your left foot on the floor. Turn your whole body to the left and extend your left arm straight up. And take a full breath in here. Full breath out. Come up onto your right fingertips. And just give yourself a little bit more length. Okay, then reach your left fingertips forward. Walk your right hand forward too and walk all the way over towards your left leg. Pivot on your right knee, lift the ball of your left foot up. Yeah, wake up your hamstrings. <laughs> Pull from your left heel back towards your body as though you're trying to draw your left leg in more deeply towards your hip socket. Oh, take a full breath in, full breath out. And then keep your right hand down, lift your left arm up, take a little bit of a twist. Oh. And then lower your left hand back to the inside of your left leg. Walk back to center. Okay, so you turn your left foot toward that long edge of your mat, right foot straight back. And then lower your hips down towards your heel and pull back up. You can have the top of your right foot down. It's going to be probably more comfortable. Hips down toward your heels. Come on back up. A few more times. Take your hips back and up. Take your hips back. And up. And then last time, as you take your hips back, sweep your right foot underneath you. So you're going to slide it underneath you and take your hips all the way back and down. Okay, so you're sitting in Janu Shirshasana. Okay, take a full breath in, full breath out, and then just roll your left leg in and out. So roll your left leg in and out. What you want to be really careful of is that your whole torso is not moving. 
just move your left leg for now. Left leg in and out. Good. Next time you have your left leg turned in, bring your left hand over to your left, but your right knee. Right fingertips behind you. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Plant your right hand. Lift your hips up. Stretch your left arm alongside your ear. Good. Inhale fully. And exhale completely. And then lower yourself back down into table, and we'll do the other side. And I'm going to turn around so you have a better view if you need to see. But lift your right knee up and roll some big circles here. Big circles with your hip. And again, I'm saying big because that's what feels good for me, but they can be smaller. They can be a little bit more intentional. You can make them really, really big, or you can make them somewhere in between. Definitely roll your leg in both directions. Maybe more than once in both directions. Just create a little bit of mobility for your hip, and then extend your right leg straight back. Put your right foot on the floor so you again turn toward that long edge of your mat. And take your right arm straight up. And take a full breath in as you root through your right leg, full breath out. And maybe even come up onto your left fingertips to give yourself just a little bit more lift and space. Okay, then lower your right fingertips down to the floor. Walk to the center of your legs in between them and then walk all the way around towards your right foot. Lift the ball of your right foot up. Okay, frame your right leg with both hands and pull from your heel back towards your body. Okay, take a full breath in here. Oh, full breath out. Keep your left hand down. Reach your right arm up. Keep pulling from your heel, your right heel back towards your hips. You have just more stability through your legs. And then lower your right hand down. Walk to the center of your legs. Turn your right foot toward that long edge. Left foot goes back. And then lower your hips back towards your heel. And pull back up. Lower your hips back towards your heel. And pull back up. Lower your hips back towards your heel. Pull back up. Two more times. Hip back towards your heel. Pull back up. Now for this last time, sweep your left foot underneath you so that when you lower your hips back, you come down to sit. Okay? Jami Shishasana. Okay? The same thing here. Turn your right leg in and out. Trying to create the movement from your leg more than your torso. Just roll your leg in and out. And then the next time you find your leg rolled in, bring your right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you, take a little bit of a twist. Okay, inhale fully. Exhale completely. Then plant your left hand on the ground, lift your hips up, extend out through your right arm, through your right leg. Full breath in. Full breath out, and then lower back down to sit. Bring your right leg in. And just take a moment. Sit here. And you can place your hands, one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Connect back to your breath. And give yourself a moment to reground, to recenter before you step out into your day. One more full breath in, full breath out, and go ahead and open your eyes. And that's your quick, mellow morning movement for today. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that it woke you up in a gentler, but also really wonderful way, but also, I mean, and also in a really wonderful way. I mean. Gentle is awesome too, right? So hopefully this gave you a good start to your morning. Thank you so much for joining me on the yoga mat. And I look forward to doing more yoga again with you really soon. Until then, bye.